footy is back. As our grand finals, because it's his grand final week once again in the AFLW. I'm your host, Alex Donnelly, for AFLW Today, your one-stop shop for all things AFLW. Joined by one of the hosts of the W Awards, so clearly has better things to do than this just ram tag show right now. It's Bryony Dawson. Thank you. Very happy to be here. Thanks for having me, folks. And the fake fan. Whoa, the little fella. Aye, 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 aye. Over there in his scarf. I've actually been to more North Melbourne games than him this year. It is the stats guy, Liam McCallion. Yeah, I have a life outside of uh, work, but that's okay. It's, it's all right. Uh, yeah, I thought someone was going to back me up there, but it's, no one's and got And Liam, you've, you've <laughs> graced your scarf. elbow, mate. But I've you've been my elbow, yeah, riding yeah. your skateboard to yeah, work again. Yeah, yeah, skateboard, yeah, like Bart Simpson style. Yeah, yeah. No, You're more like weekend. hands Molman. Like, what up, you hey, dude? Well, it's more no way. I'm yeah, pumped. North are in the granny, undefeated. How good? How good's life? Couldn't choke from here, could they? <laughs> oh, Couldn't choke from here. Don't say that. Stop that saying that. Your mouth. I don't want any moz. No thanks. So we are here to wrap up the preliminary finals this weekend. Of course, Brisbane in the grand final once again, as mentioned, North are as well. But before we get started, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow AFL Today wherever you go on social media. Get around us on the socials, X, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Blue Sky. We haven't done anything on Blue Sky yet. I've got the- What is Blue Sky? It's Twitter for cool people. Like, oh. There's a lot of positive- For cool of, people. No, you said it's for cool people. There's a lot of positive W chat on Blue Sky. None, okay. of, none of the angry old white men like Tony Jones and all well, those Well, they wouldn't even dudes. know what Blue Sky is. So. Yeah, they're just not up with it. So it's basically non-boom is allowed. It's pretty good. Is there an age limit? No, <laughs> but no boomers have got across to it because they can't figure it out. Okay. So it's really fun. If you want positive AFL chat, head over there. It's good times. Okay, cool. Excellent. Anyway, can you smell it? Footy is back. All right, quick look. North Melbourne, Brisbane, they're in the grand final again. Yes. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, wait, we <laughs> did 12 months ago. The only difference is this time it's going to be Saturday night. Saturday night. <laughs> do, do, do. Look at that. We I was going to start saying, I'll leave that to break. We, <laughs> we didn't even practice that one. So second straight grand final. This weekend proved that there is still a humongous gap between the top threes. I'm going to throw Adelaide in that top three. I think rest. so, yeah. Because you got the obviously the top four at the end of the season. Hawks, obviously, Hawks during the are season. Up there, I reckon. But I'd still be backing Lions, Crows, or Roos in a final over the Hawks, just in mm -hmm. terms of experience. Mm -hmm. There's a yep. bit of a gap there, is all I'm saying. There is a gap, but also, like... And it happens in every single season. Yeah. It's just wrought with injury. Of there, course, it's, of course. It's yeah, yeah. cooked. And that is where your massive discrepancies come from. The league is building. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. The pathway is happening, all that kind of stuff. But while you're still putting them on like regional grounds yeah. and it's not full-time and, and people aren't two getting- two games in a week yeah. or all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. and there's optional yeah. um, pre-season training and that kind of stuff. Until all of those things get fixed- we are going to be experiencing the injuries that we have and there's going to be those discrepancies yep. in cool. the teams. And the teams who put in more work are just going to be more successful because- Got it. It's also stronger, the season so short that we've talked about this every week that the injuries, a little injury is going to affect your a season more injury than a baby. Mm -hmm. your best player can cook you. Oh, it's annoying. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. tonight, because as always on the Monday night of grand final week in the men's and the women's league, we have the W Awards. Woo! Yes. yes. So Get technically excited. Brownlow week, I'm sure- I don't think we can give the awards a name now. I reckon in five years' time. So once we've had what? 15... I reckon you could call it the Aaron Phillips. Yeah, the Phillips award. Pierce Award, uh, like or, or the Pierce. Yeah, so, exactly. Daisy Pierce. Yeah, Phillips Award for mm. the best uh, for the you best player already. Yeah, yeah. Call the Pierce the Pierce Award, or maybe you swap them around depending on uh, the history. Is for the best finals player. Yeah, the Pierce Award. We have uh, the, yeah. we have the Gary we don't, medal. We don't have a best finals player yeah, in the women's not. yet, do Gemma we? Bastiani threw it out there. Says so like, we need this. There should be. Yeah. Completely yeah. agree. Yeah, Chelsea Randall. Yeah, it could Chelsea be the, Randall, the Chelsea yeah. Randall Award as well. Yeah. So we'll have the predictions, and we're going to handball to you. You can get some practice in for tonight. Yes. <laughs> hosting the co-hosting the Because I will not awards. make any predictions okay. on the show. Yeah. So this is up to the stats guy and I all to right, right. do the predictions for. Uh, well, you go ahead. Okay, so we're getting into the predictions for the W Awards tonight. First up, Rising Star. Who gets your Rising Star? I know a lot of people are going to go Goody. I'm going Schultz. I think she's going to have a few awards tonight. Um, I just think more consistent. I think Goody's best maybe was a slightly better than uh, Matilda Schultz, but mm -hmm. I think she's just going to just pip her uh, teammate in the Rising Star. A little right? pip. Just a little pip, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What are you funny thinking? funny because you know you, the height difference as well. Yeah, <laughs> yes, something like that. Yeah, that is a big height yeah. difference, yeah. Now, I said at the start of the season that Sinead Goody will win the Rising Star, did, yeah. and I stand by it. But either way, it's a Port player. Yeah, Port Yeah, 20. who's the other nomination? Lucy Cronin's to... high up there. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of it. But, yeah, it's... Uh... I think it's out of those two, though. Schultz and yeah. Goody are the main, the main two. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, especially I'm... Schultz is playing like an extra midfielder as a ruck, and then also was playing forward. Like she can do it all. So she's I had think an incredible she, season. She deserves it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, goal of the year. Who are we thinking goal of the year? Alex? Oh. Manyard. Manyard. I was going to go Running Bunana, like, met, actually meant to do it, unlike the other two, which felt very. They meant fluid. to do it. They looked at the goals. No, they. they <laughs> the other two. That had it crack, mate. Yeah. The, it was just like, oh, footy, kick. Ah, oh, it's a goal. Manyard also it, took on, like, two yeah. players. That I thought that was awesome. On the boundary. Yeah. Um, What's he? Smith from St Kilda was stiff to not get a nom. Mm. Tiana Smith, uh, yeah, yeah. The running yeah. goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I enjoyed that, whereas. I, I know we get some fluky ones, but I was like, Munyard has take, taken the run, looked up, hit yep. the banana, meant to do it. So I like that as the piece of the score yeah. rather than the throw on the boot and it's just sailed through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I, I think. Oh, you're Munyard Mun Mun as well. Yeah, I'll go Munyard yep. as well just because, yep. yeah, awesome. Mark of the year. Oh, oh. We're, we're both, surely, we're both going Schultz. I, I think she's marking the history of the AFL. Schultz going to be walking out of the uh, award just with just heaps of awards under her arms. Just mm. W awards galore yeah. for no, Schultz. I think that's a better mark. You think it's a better, uh, like... Then uh, like, Breed yeah. and... Yeah, Breed's probably the second it's, one. That's yeah. the second one. Yeah. I think it's just so far and away the best mark. Yeah. There were marks. I was, um, <laughs> like, the, the, the the like actual finalists, like, there's so there were so many one-handed marks I know, this season yeah, yeah. and not one of them got... The, I can't remember who took it, but it was, like, on the boundary line, yeah. running out and just sticks the that's arm right. out oh, like this on the boundary and takes the mark. And I was like... What the hell? Yeah, How did yeah. that not get a nod? Yeah. Yeah. I need some more yeah. one-handers. Yeah, I yeah. like the one-handers because yeah. that's really difficult. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. Yep. We should, we should right. maybe do a video about that. And your best and fairest. I feel like we've agreed the last couple, but it's this is. I think this is the most obvious of all. Of I don't. Mm -hmm. I, as a biased, yeah, North fan, I would love Jazzy Gunner because the fact that she hasn't won a league best and fairest is crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Because I think she's been probably the most consistent player the last three years, but. Marinoff this season has taken it to another level. She's just, blitzed, hasn't and she? I think that has been helped because the Crows haven't been as good. Like, slightly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Haven't there's, been as good, still like, finished top four. No, there's they no, there's top no four, one taking There's not as many hair. people dominating yeah. in an Adelaide's yeah. team as they used to be. I so, still think yeah. it's one of the great individual seasons it that is, we've though, seen. Yeah. Like, yeah. This could be like an absolute route where mm -hmm. we're, we're at round seven and she's on, at the end of round seven, Marinoff could be on 20 votes and you're just like, well, this is over. And yourself, Jonesy, and everyone else that's yeah. on the crew tonight are like, right, right, let's go talk to the people who are running second, third, and fourth because yeah. Eb's going to be up here in 20 minutes. Yeah, like Garner yeah. as well. you got Riddell taking votes off there. Then yeah. you got the forwards who are kicking Sheila's bags and goals. Oh, uh, O'Loughlin will get some votes. Yep. So, yeah. Me yeah. King will get some votes. And then at Brisbane, it's just like an even spread throughout the year. Like no I mean, Ali Anderson has had an Ali Anderson will be right up there. But, yeah. the, but the, yeah. the problem is Bell Doors and Soph Conway have had great uh, years yeah, as well. Yeah, okay, they have and as then, well. then you look at Hawthorne, you've got uh, Fleming, Gilroy, Breed, all of those just like splitting and them throughout. And Batesy. Batesy's Batesy's West. as well. Like, yeah. It's like, okay, pick your poison. Yeah. You know, the, you look at down the down the bottom half of the table, Charlie Rowbottom's not going to get enough votes to get close because mm. there was one game she was mm. probably best on, but others it's like one or two votes. Mm -hmm. So it's like... Yeah. yeah, and then Laura Gardner played seven games, so yeah. she's not going to get votes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Ella Roberts won. Yeah, best, 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 best and Ferris as well. Yeah. First of the next seven. She's, yeah. she's, she's so good. She can literally do she's it. She's awesome. I was, I was happy with that. Having this chat with Eliza Riley on Saturday when the games were on and talking about Ella Roberts, I was like, you could name ten players twenty years and younger right now who could be the best player in the competition the next ten years, and every person who chooses a different player. Will be happy with their selection. Yeah, like some, yeah, there's a lot of guns coming. Like, through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Swans fans will go Montana Ham, West Coast fans Ella Roberts, Port Adelaide fans have got Schultz and Goody. Then you've mm. got the Hawthorne players. You just like, you know, I'm good. Yeah, everyone's happy it's, with their choices. Yeah, it's it's awesome. really good. Yeah, good call. So thankfully, positive out of the weekend that we know of so far. No injuries that look like they're going to keep players out of the grand final. Which is, yeah, which is what we no want to see. No injuries, no head knocks, no, 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 uh, no concussions, reports. Which is great. Yeah. Emma Carney didn't kill Sinead Goody like you may have suggested <laughs> <laughs> in the Should previous last week. She had some big bumps. Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. she was, she was she pumped did, up. She would, have, she would have wanted to get it back yeah. in the yeah. bones, yeah. you know? But then there was also that I don't want to overstretch and redo the hammy. Absolutely not, yeah. mate. She was, was like, they North benched her him. as much as they yeah. possibly could. I think that was smart. Yeah. You got Craven went off. First half back injury, but then yeah. she came back out. Yeah. Uh, or they came back out. And then I'm not sure if there was any other injuries. So. No. Who was on the bench at the very end? You had yeah. Carney, Jazzy Garner, Riddell, Shearlaw, yeah. and a, Bruton. Yeah. Like, I was just like, that bench could just jump. That's, that's an amazing <laughs> bench. Yeah. Like my thing was at halftime, why don't you, like, we don't have the sub vest. I was like, 
Here, Jazzy. <laughs> Here, Emma. Sub yeah. vest. We're good. Chuck yeah. on the uh, the they got the retro jackets in yeah. the FLW. Yeah, just, chuck on the jacket. We didn't need a jacket. It was 46 yeah, actually, yeah. degrees. Yeah, I was sitting there symbolically, sweating. Symbolically. Which means we'll just move straight into the game. Saturday afternoon at Icon Park. Yes. And North Melbourne demolish rated poor Port Adelaide. 12 6, 78 to 2 9 21. Let's be nice. No, not nice. Let's just be honest about this. <laughs> have to be nice. This game was over 10 minutes in. Yes. This was done. Did I not say that this was going to happen? You did say. I, was, I tipped the biggest margin. Yeah, I know, but still the yeah. concept. You did say you that it was I mean? going to be over earlier. Yeah. Well, I think you both said that. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, Port Adelaide is done with their good playing. Yeah. And their, yeah. I don't think it was that Port, and I had this, and then um, a guy from AFL's fantasy crew came back to me. I was like, I don't think Port Adelaide were bad. They didn't get a chance to be bad yeah, North, or good. Just, yeah, North Melbourne just went, ah, footy, that's ours. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, like Port skills weren't that bad. Just, they, they just didn't, didn't get the ball enough. Yeah. Like, they didn't yeah. hold the footy. Yeah. And North, anytime they had the footy, that extra half step that Port had against Geelong and they had against Richmond, they didn't have. They, yeah. There was about five holding the balls in the first two minutes. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah, this is over. I was sitting there five minutes and I was like, this game's done. But that's the way to beat Port Adelaide. You know, yeah. we know they love that scrappy ground ball. Get, like, that's that's their game style. Yeah. That's what they can legs. do. Yeah, they yeah. can hustle everything like that. North mm -hmm. were like, cool, we just won't let the ball hit the ground. <laughs> it was crazy. Some of the skills. Oh, it's off the chart. Unbelievable. At quarter time, seven port players hadn't touched the footy. Oof. Well, that, three, oof. three others had yeah. one possession. Yeah, on that. So Alex. 10 players with one possession or less. They've had that all year where they're sort of a very shared uh, ball winning seven. approach. But then you've got eight of the top nine ball winners were North yeah. players. That's the worry. Like they don't have anyone that's going to get more than 20, 22 touches in their team. Derek, yeah. I think, averages around 19, 20. And then that's their highest. They don't have anyone wow. like North that have players that are going to that next level, 25, 30 yeah. touches, which is the, that's that's why they're not at that next level yet. So to go first, at one point it was 52 to zip. And I was like, yeah, the highest finals margin is on, which was 70 points. Yep. Uh, oh, that's right. Because you called that too, didn't you? Well, I said we could see a record. A record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. finals. Right. Was, I, think, yeah. I think I said six goals in the end. So I was kind of close. Yeah, it was the third highest score in a final, 78 points. And then the fourth biggest finals margin, 57 yeah. points. Yeah. It was just. Straight away, that Riddell and Jazz Garner were on. There was one point when Jazzy Garner's kicked a goal in the first quarter, and she just like the ball is on the half forward flank near where the, that was the first fans goal. Were. Yeah, she kicked the first goal. First goal and it's yeah. just like, dit, 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 dit. oh, I'm on my own in the goal square, and the ball just fell in her hands. Yeah. Like, why is no one really smart that? positioning? But someone should have been on it. But yeah. that's what yeah. she's been so good at all year. So she's tenth in the competition for goals kicked this year. Yeah, she's a midfielder, and she yeah, she just floats forward and should have been just there. sneaks forward. Also, where's the old school slippers? Only player that does that. Everyone wears the uh, wears the proper footy boots. What do you mean? So if so, back in like the early two thousands, <laughs> the Asics had a style of footy boot which was sort of known as the slippers, which are basically oh, like yeah, no, runners with studs on them. Oh, the, yeah, the, they still have them. Yeah, not yeah. many players wear yeah. them anymore. Yeah, because they're like heavy. Yeah. yeah, Jazz Garner wears them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, does she? Yeah, they're like the heavy Asics ones. Yeah, right? yeah, that's right. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because I used to hate wearing footy boots. My feet just didn't oh, really? like it. Yeah. Like, they're really, so you probably really would have you probably would have been better like, with why the can't slippers. I just go in a runner. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. pretty much sort of what they <laughs> are. Like with practice. with a harder leather, obviously. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's what Jazz Garner was because I've noticed it. Maybe everyone should wear them. She's like one of the best players in the comp. So. Yeah. It's it's like how people kept getting uh, the Adelaide uh, wingers mixed up because they're both you know sort of same size, same tan, same ponytail. Tell them apart by their boots. Yeah. There right. You go. Yeah. There you go. But uh, back to North. It's just. Anytime they moved forward, it was just slick movement. It was hitting targets. It was lowering the eyes, taking the smart option. And then it's like, oh, Alice O'Loughlin's kicked two like this. Oh, four goals That on. snap was so good. Yeah. She had to take on two players, sort of fended one off, then did a snap. Then Vicky Wall, who I'm going to talk about later, three goals. Unbelievable. Like yeah. that that little duo of them just kicking goals from all angles, Vicky Wall and um, it was like a So fun to watch. It was like a training yeah. drill, wasn't oh, it? Yeah. Because, <laughs> and because the thing is, like you said, Port weren't bad, but no. they just couldn't. I didn't get the chance to be they, bad. They, they their pressure a was, they I'll just, say their pressure was bad. Yeah. But, but that's because North were just way too quick for them. They're just they like, were, yeah. um, they only took 21 marks to North's that, 63. That and right. that includes 11 inside 50 marks for North to zero. Oh, yeah. Zero. Because yeah. you got Wright and Ferguson down there really good with the spoils intercept marks. And then North were just Port's clunking him. Entries to the Ford 50 were pretty bad. Yeah. They've never been excellent, though. Yeah, but it's just <laughs> so. They like a scrappy yeah. sort of game. They're yeah, three yeah, goals yeah. down in 10 minutes, and arguably your best player, your X Factor, is is getting sunburnt sitting in the goal square. Yeah. Houghton, yeah. 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 Actually, 
Could have pushed her up the ground. Yeah, like yeah. she should have. Get her in the midfield and just get her to crash. Yeah. Get her to crash through. That. Just that yes. presence because that's I'll, what she is. She's exciting. 10, you know? 15 minutes in when, mm. when nothing's going away, it's like, okay, just three minutes, Gemma, go in there, yeah. try and cause yeah. some havoc. Yeah. And they just didn't. But that's what she's, that's what she's done. That's what Lauren yeah. Nell did that the week before, that's right? That's what I thought when she That's how they came back against Hawthorne. Actually, that's she right. She just went, yeah. magnets, wherever <laughs> you stick, that's where you go. And she, like, didn't really, yeah. I just didn't feel like she did that because if she was going to, Houghton would have been out of there. It's all, it's like <laughs> similar to sort of watching the Sydney Swans in the men's grand final. They got punched early and. They didn't the, change anything And early. the coaches yeah, were yeah. just like, yeah. uh-oh. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's like no, no, no. We we'll stick to our game plan. Yeah, yeah. You know, just execute fine, that fine, better. Fine, Especially fine. at the first. It's goal. not the day for it to execute. Exactly. It's Twenty-six today. to zero. Maybe yeah. you've got to change something. Yeah. Then fifty-two to zero. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I yeah. agree. Uh, you knew North Rome when Talia Randall takes a mark forty out and just bombs it. You're like, yeah. oh, this is going to be a There's long day. There's only a few plays in the comp where I'm really Talia. confident where they take it forty out because usually most of the great kick of the footy. Just yeah. such a pure kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Really, really. Because forty, you got to kick at fifty, right? Exactly. You know? yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. she was kicking with the smaller footy as well. Yeah, yeah. which is harder to do. Yeah. Absolutely. And Kate Sheila popped up again, seven marks, two guys. Like North Fords just split the difference beautifully. Yeah. It's Five every- players kick two plus. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> it's everything you want you want to see out of uh, as a North fan, I suppose, a North coaching staff going into the grand final. It's what you want to see mm-hmm. out of it. Uh, the funniest one for me was uh, Emma King had a shot at one point. It nearly ended up on the highway when that yeah, passed sideways. Yeah. It's like, love you, Emma, but you're really not help. You're really not helping my. Ruck. You're really know, helping my Ruckman should handball at all <laughs> at all times. Yeah. Um, for Port Adelaide, there's not a lot of positives. The only positive I take out of it for them is is uh, Shanae Goody is the best tackler in the competition. Yeah, mm-hmm. really good. Pressure. When she tackles you, you stay tackled. She laid nine tackles. I reckon three or four of them were holding the ball. Wow. That yeah. Like, she's when she grabs so good. you. It, she just sticks. Yeah, them. I thought Piper Window was all right. You yeah. mentioned uh, love a window. The window last love week. Love the uh, window. The window. Fifteen disposals, five clearances, eight tackles. Like you're looking through all the sort of stats, and then you go Piper, and and she did pop up a few yeah. times. Yeah, and so did Goody. But then there wasn't an, really anyone. Good. Darek was okay. Darek was okay. Eighteen disposals. Yeah. Which Fourteen is contested, five inside fifties. But I think for Derek, I think she's an absolute gun, very consistent. But she just needs to take that game to that twenty-five disposal, yeah. and it will help them a lot because she always gets that eighteen to nineteen, and yeah, they don't have enough players that are getting yeah. that, a lot of disposals. We love takes, but dead set was a passenger. Yeah, well, they didn't really get it down there. But it's also half, like yeah, still yeah. getting up there to try and create a presence, at least yeah. taking a mark up yeah. on the wings. Did not get near yeah. it. Didn't have the best of final series. Gemma Houghton with only ten disposals, like. You need more out of your big players. But yeah. this is a day where they just got blitzed. They so, got absolutely outclassed. So you're looking at it, you know, fan bases north are like, yep. Sick. Yes. Like, no, they're granny, but I'm just a little bit nervous for next They week. are <laughs> so pumped. Yeah. But they are silently crapping their pants. I've just got like, flashbacks to last because year. Because like, we're unbeaten. It's heartbreaking. Mm. They are so far and away the best comp- team in the competition this year. Mm-hmm. Like, it's obvious. They've what allowed in 21 points then. Their average before the game was 18.4. Yeah, it's like so 19 it's like, now. So it's basically yeah. 19 points yeah. per game. Yeah. They're the highest scoring team in the league. They cannot lose this Saturday. <laughs> I'm well t- said. I'm touching the... No, yeah, but... Touch, 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 touch Yeah, yeah. That's it. There you go. <laughs> but given the... Dominance of no, this I, season in terms of yeah all of that, but you can throw all of that out of a no, grand final as we talked about with the Sydney and the men's. Everyone's like, oh, Sydney going to win. Sydney this weren't season. undefeated. Sydney lost know, six I games know. throughout the season. But it's the same vibe, same vibe. Sydney had lost six games. North Melbourne have not looked. They had that draw against Geelong. No, I agree. But they North Melbourne are in good form too. Yeah, yeah. And for Port Adelaide, they're just like ah. They, that is a massive Bollocks. improvement. You, you can go, mm-hmm. oh crap! But that was really annoying that game on the weekend. But as a Port fan, you should oh, be really happy. They had a season. free hit at the, they had a free hit at a prelim. Mm-hmm. It was just ah, if we win, sick. Hawthorne would have hated watching. That I know because they would have been like, we could have done they way were, better. We could have. That's a good call. That's I tell you what, Hawthorne, kick straight. Yeah, kick straight. And we, I didn't get to talk about Garner and Madal. We talk about it every yeah. week. Fifty-four disposals, thirteen clearances between them. I think that's around their average. Like just. Unbelievable. And then the other one I wanted to mention was uh, Taylor Gatt on the wing. Just from the get-go, didn't even care about the heat, was just running up and yeah. back, up and back, up and back. Yeah, like, she was she everywhere, was so wasn't she? I was sweating sitting there, so I don't know how those players did it. Yeah, mm. I think Amy Smith, Pickle Taylor juice, Gatt, and, and Hydrolite. There was a lot of <laughs> yeah, exactly. ice on the head as well. Yeah. yeah, But yeah, uh-huh. the, I think the wingers, Gatt, Smith, and Craven, mm. I think that they have, that rotation, you can just put them anywhere and – so good. Craven's really underrated too, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, really she's, hard at it. Yeah. Might not get much of the ball. Yeah. But really yeah. good. Mm. She's great. All right, let's get up to Brisbane. 
Where the Lions do what they always do. They win prelims. They beat yeah. the Adelaide Crows. 7 8 50 to 4 8 32. That's six straight wins for Brisbane against the Crows. Oh boy, if you're an Adelaide fan, you're just, you're not happy. They just don't want to play Brisbane in a well, it's not final that. ever no, again. It's, it's, they always lose to them. But it's not that. It's just, it's a waste. Uh, this first quarter was chaos. There that? is chaos. Now, were... Everyone was a little bit nervous. <laughs> like, so, that to get their little cheaters <laughs> out. Yeah. In a shock to no one, Adelaide couldn't take advantage of the opportunities that were given to oh, them. They've done this the last like, there two was months. Oh. Three opportunities that they should have kicked goals in the first Absolutely. quarter. Absolutely, yep. And in a prelim final, you must take those chances. In saying that, Brisbane Soph, missed a few. In easy saying ones. that, Soph Conway missed the easiest. She missed two easy ones, and Dax missed one in the goal. One score straight too. after the Dax, other. Dax, I could understand. It was a hard one. Dax yeah. was getting tackled. Yeah, yeah. And she kicked it, so the footy goes anywhere when your body's of going course. sideways. Yeah. But Soph Conway, you, <laughs> you've got the ball. I'm just like, yep, yeah, that's a goal. I actually started walking to the fridge to get a water. Yeah. And it's like, and then you hear Joe Speaker, and she's missed. It's oh, like, what? No. <laughs> you literally couldn't have it in safer hands than Sophie Conway I know, she's running been so into good goal. All season, yeah. She could have had more time. She could have, like... She had more time. I think but it, that rattled her, too. And then, like, a minute later, one, yeah. when she's coming for goal, she missed that one as well. And she, like... She, and then she literally didn't get her hands on the ball the whole no, time. 13 disposals for the night for Soph Conway. Like, um, not a big night. But mm. also, Adelaide, that first quarter, Randall and Ponta both oh. had decent set shots. Talking about and then just, like... Oh, yeah. She, I think Randall's it was second, started in the second quarter. But yeah. Randall's contested marking. She's so off the chart. strong. Yeah. Off I think, the chart. I'd say she's... Yeah, so underrated in that, in that area. Maybe she the best. The I, the I don't think she's underrated. So I think well. she's properly right. Everyone yeah. knows how good. Yeah. In terms Chelsea of just saying the contested marking, just so but, good. Yeah. Good took a really big hanger early as well. Mm -hmm. so th those two together up forward is yeah. really exciting. Yeah. So, also, mm. I've got to talk about Ed Marinoff because oh. you've talked about her as well and how she can just lay it out and put it on someone's chest no matter what is happening. Oh, yeah. A leak kick. And yeah. she did it like a hundred times yeah, yeah. on the weekend, every time, because like obviously I look for it now. Twenty eight to talked, be exact. You've talked about it. Did you have twenty eight? She kids? was literally oh. like facing the, uh, the the different way, and then switched yeah. the play. Yeah, and it it landed to someone on a lead on the chest. And I was they, just yeah, like, they didn't even have to stop. You don't what break stride. The yeah. hell? <laughs> Still, the best kick I've seen was this year against Collingwood, where she switched the play, yeah. and the Adelaide play did not have to break stride. That, yeah. That's exactly what happened. I was yeah. just like, oh. Yeah. So, That's good. So good to watch, I actually yeah. rewound it and watched it again because I <laughs> yeah. wanted to see where she was looking. And, and, you she, just watch, and you just watch. she looked at where they were running 20 seconds yeah. beforehand yeah. and was like, I reckon, according just to my calculations, <laughs> there's going to be someone the running yeah. through there. And she and, just goes, Boop. And you just watch it going, <laughs> yes. It was, yes, yes mate. So, Dude, so good. it was so good. So going through this game, it's this whole game is an encapsulation of the Adelaide Crow season. Good word. Mm hmm. The, at halftime, it's 3-5 to two goals, four. Which is the same as what happened against North pretty much uh, last week where they were in the lead. Adelaide should have been four goals in front. Mm. And then all of a sudden, the yep. Lions kick a couple of goals in the third quarter. Four, to be exact. Just, <laughs> oh, sorry. Let him get his run on. Let him get his run on. Yeah. <laughs> they kick a couple of goals. They hit the front. Yes, yes, yes. As soon as Adelaide fall behind, the ha! What a ha! Ah, what do we do? Oh my god! I know. Ah, ah, panic! Panic! Ah, kick it! Ah. Forget the game plan that they had that had been working for the first two and a bit quarters. It just goes to instant panic, and it is it's so frustrating know, to watch because a bit of composure, a bit of calm, knowing that there's still thirty minutes of footy left, hold you in some stead. But no, just turnovers, bad use of the footy. Bad decisions going forward. Also, a really weird mistake from the umpires that led to a Crows goal. Oh, sorry, a Lions goal. Lions mm. goal. The play yeah, on yeah. in the goal square. That was a bit weird. Oh, yeah, that was weird. That was early on. Yeah. That was weird. Mm. Where Soph Conway's laid the tackle. That was Bedell, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Where, she, where she's taken two steps back yeah, and, what the hell and was turned that? the body and the umpires called play on. Because she walked off her line. And that game was, they never called that. I know that. Mm. There were three free kicks in the first minute, and you saw this in the group text. Mm. All went Brisbane's way. Yeah. They went there. Mm. Interesting. There you go. But they they did play a lot better than Adelaide. Like, they've run yeah. on Adelaide the quick the, footy. Adelaide shot themselves yeah. in the foot. Yeah. 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 But Brisbane did play elite. There, oh, was, one, went... there was one point, the link-up play in the oh. third quarter, oh. kick out of defensive yeah. 50, hit Conway on the chest. That was one time she did take a mark. <laughs> 
Deep on the, on the outer wing, Conway to Dax. Dax pinpoint actu- accuracy to yep. Svark, and then it went on to Hanson kicked a goal. It was just, like, yeah. amazing. Grider <clears throat> in defence yeah. for Brisbane. That was probably you one couldn't of get our, anything past her. One of her best games. Grider, yeah. Grider, yeah. Grider, yeah. Grider. She was just everywhere. She was taking solid intercept marks. Mm-hmm. She was absolutely everywhere. Brisbane outplayed Adelaide yeah, they in that clicked, game. Clicked in the second half, yeah. And they, Brisbane also out. Coached Adelaide at halftime. Craig Starcevich we went, this, yeah. oh, who's tearing me apart? Oh, yeah, of course, it's Ebony Marinoff. Hey, Jade Ellinger, go run with her for the rest of the game. Mm. Yeah. I know Marinoff still Marinoff had still 14 disposals, it, yeah. but she didn't impact. have as much of an impact yeah. in the second half as she did in the first. Yeah. And Ellinger snuck forward and kicked a goal as well. Yeah. Yep. So great coaching move, great yeah. play by friend of the show, Jade Ellinger. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I've chucked in all her Dwyer as well. I, oh, I, she's legit. I swear she kicked it out of the fence to the wing and then she got the next one in the fall. That I, I don't know. She is unbelievable. The work rate, she was going up and back. She was getting Where the ball Where she stopped that everywhere. goal when yeah, she, she ran the into the well. 50. Oh, oh. Her pace. And then just the whoop, her, and, you're like, and then she can kick like 40, 45 meters. Just getting it out of the fence was just perfect for them. Yeah. And she was part of the reason they started going really well. The other one was Kathy Zvark. There was like three times yep. the ball is within about – Three Adelaide players, no Brisbane. She runs through and barges through them all, and then just yeah, oh, awesome. I just yeah. thought that they she, they wanted it. I know I, I don't like this saying usually, but they wanted it more in the second half. Brisbane, they were going to the ball first, crashing packs, just awesome. Dax also played awesome. Yeah, Dax Got did the have crowd a good. Into it. Yeah, Dax Sucked did have a good game. I always did. Like nearly kick the goal of the century. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. no, the, that was amazing. Inside the out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, banana, yeah, yeah. banana that's hit oh. the, the double poster. Yeah, like I, I think the roof would have come off the <laughs> yeah. place without a roof if that <laughs> yeah, had happened. I think Dax would have taken the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah taking the post out. Yeah. <laughs> Dax, would have, Dax would have exploded and landed in the gather. Like, yeah. like, ah! that's the other thing. The passion from the Brisbane players when they were kicking a goal in the second half was like nuts because. Yeah. It was a bit annoying. That's the only thing about the North game. I loved it, obviously, that we won. But there wasn't that finals energy because everyone knew that North already won for every time they, yeah, they kicked yeah, a goal. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the Brisbane-Adelaide game, Randall kicked a goal. Like, there was 10 players around her. Then then uh, Dax kicks a goal. The crowd's going nuts. It felt yeah. more like a finals energy because yeah. it was close. Yeah. I feel like um, North have really been keeping themselves under wraps because yeah, yeah. the only thing that is a win for them now is winning the grand true, final. And true. I feel like they've had that. I remember Kevin Sheedy did that with the Bombers one year. Didn't I think it was like excited. the 2001. Yeah. 2000. Yeah, 2000. They got yeah. smashed in 2001. And and they like they weren't allowed excited, to they yeah. weren't allowed to sing the song after oh, the game. Really? Like yeah, he was like <sighs> the only win for us is winning the grand final. That's when you went 24, 23 and 1. Yeah, yeah they just one dominated. Yeah. Yeah. So it was the year. Yeah, North just like, locked in. Locked they sing, in. They, they, they've sung the song, signed all the autographs to the fans, and they're yeah. just like, next week, next it's week. It's next week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the fan base is Brisbane are like, this is what we do. Our club plays in grand finals. Fifth, fifth straight, yeah. Fifth straight grand final for Brisbane across AFL and AFLW. That's just, that's excellence. Like, well done. Across the board. A Brisbane. Yes. And Adelaide, they're just like, sh- that yeah, they don't they're they're mad, they're annoyed, they're they, frustrated, I'm say, they're sad. I said it before, they've dropped off this year. Like, they have. like usually they would droppy. be a lot closer, they'd be a lot more accurate on goal. They're not relying. I know that uh Marinoff, Randall, and Hatchard probably like their stars, mm-hmm. and uh Randall, of course, as well. But then outside of that, their depth dropped off this year. I don't I don't I think, just don't be think they played year. to their best once. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there was there was something about them yeah. this year Missing where they them. where the, yeah, yeah, they could but like I said it last week against Freya. I was like, I expected more. Mm. I just expected more from them all year, mm. and I didn't get it. Disappointing. All right, tipping results. Brian in stats guy, two for two. Yes. I, my unbeaten streak finally came to an end. <laughs> After going a perfect seven for seven, the Crows let me down. Oh. One for two, and Spence got two because she just went no, the one, upset. No, one of two. Sorry, one of two yeah. went the upset as well. Well, the best team of the round. Well, there's only two teams to choose from. I'm going to go with North because I saw that up close and personal and it was awesome. Yeah, I just think North mm. would, just didn't do a thing wrong. So I'm, I'm going to go. But you, you could make an argument for both because Brisbane had a harder game. Yeah, I'm Adelaide. saying Brisbane. So would you say Brisbane? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, fair. yeah that's for fair. sure. Yeah. They really pulled it out and they had to. They had to play their best footy mm. against Adelaide and they did. Mm. Yep. And so they'll be, they'll be pumped coming I've, into the final. I forgot to mention the crowds. 4,387 at Icon Park and yep. 4,500 at Brighton Homes Arena. So it, will be it packed sounded like a game. lot more yeah. than it did. Brighton Homes. And fair play to everyone like, turning out in 36 degrees. <laughs> it like, was so that hot. Help. That didn't help that it was that hot. 
Yeah. It, and then the cool change came through and the wind was going about 50 k's an hour halfway through the last quarter mm. and it started pouring just as the game finished. Mm. Good job, Hopefully, Melbourne. actually, is it decent weather this week? Oh, we'll talk about that later in the yeah. week. Yeah. Cool. Best on ground of the week. All right, I'm going Dax. Oh, yeah. oh fight up the crowd. Yeah. I'm going down the other end. I'm yeah. going Grider. Yeah. Oh. She was awesome. Yeah, she, she was, was just everywhere. That was, yeah, that was her yeah. best game, I reckon. Uh, I'm going Vicky Wall. Career high day, three goals, 14 disposals, and four tackles. Yeah, career high. And day. has the best goal music in the business, the John Cena theme song. Really? <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, when, when she kicks five next week. Yeah. Let's do that one. Lol. Loved it. <laughs> Alice O'Loughlin nearly got me there. Kick two in the first quarter. I thought you were yeah, on. Yeah, you wanted four, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I was on. I was like, this, this is happening. Exactly, this yeah. is going uh, let me down. Let yeah. me down. All right. Quick look ahead to this weekend. We may as well just quickly touch on it before we get to, obviously, th- uh, Friday. Well, we'll do the big preview show. Yes. Stats guy, you'll be in for half of it when we talk about North Melbourne okay. because Eliza Riley's in town. Oh, We're gee, getting the big J journalist on. Yeah. Jump on. Yeah, we'll get you on. to come on and do your North Melbourne best. Sounds good. Uh, but, yeah, quick look. We'll let you go because this is your time to shine for North. Well, I'm just genuinely nervous. As, like, a North fan, we always look at the fan bases and things like that. Literally last year, last year I think it was 50-50. I know because North obviously lost a few games. This year... You're three goal favourites. Three goal favourites, which I think, oh, that's... I don't know, maybe just because I'm nervous being a North fan. I'm, all my family's going, everyone's very excited. Uh, things like that. It has to be this year because otherwise, I think if North were to lose this year, soul crushing. Like last year was soul crushing enough. This year when you haven't lost one game, I really think North are the better team, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than three goals. Mm. I think it's going to be like one goal at max just because Brisbane lift... Dax wasn't even that good towards the end of the season. Lifted for the finals the Dax last two weeks. Dax is a finals player. That's my big point. Game Dax player. is a big so game player. Dax Absolutely. got best on last year. So if they can stop Dax North, I think North will win. But nervous. How are you feeling? Um, I'm going North. Um, I think Brisbane will absolutely take it to Yeah, them. I think it'll be close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, but, you know, they did it earlier in the year. I think they've prov- proven that they can. They're, it's, it's North's year. Okay. We saw it in round one. You've got that, that was a long time ago, though. <laughs> doesn't matter. You've got revenge. Oh, revenge! Revenge from last year, yeah. And the unbeaten season. And it's just like all season, it's been like this. This is our year. Mm-hmm. Like there's been that seriousness. They've had to dig deep. They haven't had to dig deep yet. They've just been belting everyone. Yeah, but that's that's where they've dug deep. Yeah, that's where they've We've really to had to level. go. Yeah, they've, they've instead of just putting the foot on the throat. They've put the foot through the throat. Yeah. But it's like, no. Nah, Not we're, yet. We're that gonna... throat crashes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, this, North smash them. Mm. We had an accent on the show. Yeah. So we, we always, we always North, have one. Good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Russian North Melbourne fans are in for a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're big. We're They're big always in, in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They're Bulldogs fans. The colors. Oh, I can't wait. That was a Russian joke. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, flag. Got like it. In a no, hurry. Russian in a hurry. <laughs> yeah, no, I got that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got that. I got that. Anyway, <laughs> on that high note, that'll do us for AFLW today for Well Today. So thanks to Bryony ahead of tonight, getting in some practice for the hosting. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be such a huge night. Please tune in to the W Awards yes. because it's going to be an absolute ripper. It is what really. What does it kick off? Uh, like six, six, or- six. Oh, no, I think in venue starts at six and then seven. Yeah, yes. perfect. Uh, so from what? I read this morning in the preview on uh, Fox Footy is the count the vote counting will start between eight fifteen and eight thirty mm-hmm. and be wrapped up by nine fifteen. Andrew Dillon Gillen, we I'm did, watching yeah, you. The men need to learn from that. <laughs> the brown goes way too. Yeah, long. Yeah, we don't need six interviews with Patrick Cripps leading up. We can just go <laughs> round three. Hey, Ed Marinoff, how are you feeling? Good, thanks. Righto, everyone, back <laughs> to you. <laughs> that would make your job. Just alone. get to the Whoa. point. Yeah, <laughs> just get to the point. We. Eb's going to win it. Celebrate the, the great season, the amazing season that we've had. Yep. Mm-hmm. But don't take three hours reading out the votes, please. It's a very good night. Yes. I'm actually, I'm going to be watching. Yeah, I'll it's be watching. Yeah. Got, to, got to support the pals. Yeah, S- support, thank you. Support the people in our circle. Appreciate it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be a big one. Thank you to Stats Guy for jumping on as well. Thank you. Go North. Stats Let's go. All right, remember to smash a like across all the socials. See us doing a bunch of fun stuff and filling in your footy gaps throughout the season and the year because, well, season's almost over, but we've still got bunch of content to come out of course facebook instagram x tiktok and of course youtube hit that notifications bell as well as subscribing so anytime we drop some content it comes out to you and of course on the podcast just search afl today you'll find the men's show and the women's show there of course we've only got a couple of shows left before Aww. we then go into the uh off season but hey it's footy it's i'm footy. sad grand final week Anyway, get around grand final week like Stats Guy hard launching his girlfriend on his Instagram story on Saturday night. You must have seen some other stories, I reckon. I was like, where's this guy? Yeah, see, I said before the show I had him. He left a link to his girlfriend's profile on there. Stats Guy, you're better than that. How long has it been? How long has it been? 
uh, four months. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. I've really already posted that, something for sure. And that really You nice just stalk my Instagram all the time. No, here. someone else pointed, it, pointed it out to me. And I was like, ah, he did. Anyway, there subscribe and start at the rest of the shows that we've got on the Sports Today <laughs> Network. Cricket Today, Football Today, NBA Australia, NFL Australia, and of course, hold all tickets. A bunch going on over the coming weeks as all those seasons are going. We're getting smashed in the cricket. APL season's flying. NBA is going good. NFL's sweet. And in the racing, we have Group 1s in Perth and, of course, Hong Kong International next week. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you later in the week for the grand final preview. Till then, go. look after yourselves. And remember, footy is still back. Footy's back. I'm already.